Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to talk about how to farm Bloodback Morob, who's a warrior boss out in Mitanni Keys, I think I'm saying all those words right, and this farm can be done in order to get elite warrior tomes, as well as scale fins, which can be traded in to get scale fin soup. So to start, all you do is use a shout hero to give yourself a little speed boost to run to the farming location, and on your way there you want to try to avoid these groups, because there's necro touchers in there that could kill you even through shadow form. And anyway, when you get up to around here, which is the farming location, you want to start casting your enchantments and obviously maintain them before you aggro this group of scales here on the right. It's just for some energy management. But once you have their aggro, you want to cast Storm Chaser and run over to the beach here on the left and aggro these plants because the Storm Seeds have a lightning attack that'll help you regenerate energy with uh, Storm Chaser. And you just want to sit here a little bit until this group from the east starts to get closer to you. They're more scales, and once they get closer, you could aggro them without losing any of the other aggro. And once you have them, you want to run over to the other island, across the water here, where Bloodback Morab is. There's also some Corsairs in here, so you could aggro them up as well. But anyway, once you have everyone, just walk backwards up against this rock, and right wall block them. Then all you have to do is cast a fresh shadow form, and wait for all the melee enemies to come into the ball, and cast Whirling Defense. Now, you won't be able to kill Bloodback Morab with just one Shadow Form cast time. It'll take a little bit longer than that. So, all you do is maintain your first Shadow Form for as long as you can, and then whenever it recharges, just recast it without using Deadly Paradox. Now, it won't be a perma Shadow Form, but that's okay because Bloodback Morab is a boss, and whenever he dies, it'll instantly recharge all of your skills. And when that happens, you could just use Deadly Paradox and Shadow Form, and you'll be back into a perma Shadow Form cycle. So when he dies, just recast your shadow form to get the perma back, and then whenever you can, use Storm Chaser to get some energy. And then all that's left are all these ranged guys. And they're pretty easy to handle, all you do is just walk back in the water until they're sort of in a ball, there's no real need to get them real tight together, as long as Rolling Defense can hit them all. And then just run in, make sure you're on a fresh shadow form, and then just whirl them all down. So, as I mentioned before, one of the main purposes of this farm is to get Scale Fin Soup. And in order to do that, you have to go to the Astralarium and talk to the Collector there. It's the Chef guy over here by the tent, and he requires two Scale Fins for every one Scale Fin soup. So whenever you collect enough Scale Fins, just head here and trade them in. So that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. And if you like this kind of stuff, I'm always making Guild Wars 1 related videos, so please consider subscribing. And with that, I just want to say good luck, have fun, and thanks for watching.